Well, 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 we have some big news coming out from the National Lacrosse League today, this morning. I am very proud and excited for several things. First off, we need to talk about the new Canadian television deal with TSN. Very grateful for that. I'm not sure how long it's supposed to be. I read up on it a couple days ago, but I haven't looked back at it actually to see what the confirmation and stuff is. You know, how many years is it going to be? Is this going to be, you know, a bunch of channels? You know, TSN has a bunch of channels. And if you have a VPN or if you know, you know, some sites, you know, some sites that may be a little bit sketchy, um, if you don't want to pay for Canadian television, um, they're there. And you know we can you know get on get on that you know it's not going to help the league grow or anything but um, if you can't support the league by having you know that television you know that channel and the you know if you don't have TSN you know you're out of luck in the United States for the time being until the NLL announces the U.S. deal I hope it's not Bleacher Report again because Bleacher Report Live was terrible. And, you know, it just it never made sense to me that that platform was being used for streaming NLL games. And I didn't like it um, because I don't like streaming. So, you know, I don't, I, don't like, I don't like having to stream and pay for streaming. I don't like having to pay for streaming because streaming is the new cable. But I've said that so many times and stuff like that, so um, we're not going to dwell into that. But the LL, the NLL has announced their opening weekend schedule, which is December 3rd through December 4th. Unfortunately, my Panther City Lacrosse Club will not be playing that weekend, which is unfortunate. We have the week off, but uh, it's going to get real, real fun, real quick, because the... Because the league has divided itself into conferences, it used to be three for a couple for a year for only about a year because of the pandemic. But now it is two conferences again, and what I assume will happen is that there will be another Western team. There will be another Western expansion to join Las Vegas when they come in. Yeah, next year I think. Um, so hopefully that is announced. You know, eventually, you know, because there needs to be an even balance. So, the top three in the West, because the West has six teams and the East has eight. So, the top three in the West, plus the top four in the East, plus either the fourth place in the West or the fifth place in the East. You know, fifth place in the West or fourth place in the East gets that eighth seed. They will play in the first round. And that first round will be single elimination. The, the final two rounds, the semifinals and the finals, will be a best of three series, which is absolutely, it's pretty good. It's pretty good, actually. Um, because, you know, upsets can happen in, in lacrosse and in sports in general. So, you know, this is actually a good type of series. You know, NBA playoffs are a little bit too long because, you know, we don't need... We don't need seven games for the first round, really. Um, and we, we, we certainly don't need 16 teams in the NBA playoffs. But that's the NBA playoffs. This is lacrosse. Lacrosse is much more competitive, much harder to win a championship if you're a favorite. You know, you know we, we've seen it the last couple of years. I mean, the Whip Snakes have had so much. You know, I mean, we're talking about the outdoor game for a second here, but the Whip Sakes have had so much competition that it was tough for them to win two straight championships. It was really tough for them to win two straight championships. You cannot deny that. You cannot deny that. But there will be an 18-game season again, so I'm not sure how many weeks that will be. I think it will be around like 20 as usual. And hopefully, you know, we get that U.S. TV deal sometime soon. And everything, but it's gonna be really, really fun. I am finally excited to say that I will be finally watching the NLL for the first time this this um, upcoming season because I have seen some games in the past, but I never really fully committed. And I've now been covering this, now been covering the league for oh, about a couple months now, and now I have a team to root for. So you know, 
having a team to root for, having a having at least you know a place to be able to watch it. You know, it's not it's not my country, but it's in Canada. But I mean, having a place to be able to watch games, you know, actually watch games, and not have to you know look you know look anywhere else you know for a game and come you know come up empty it is is a blessing it is a blessing and the NFL continues to survive because we know the NFL likes to you know have good attendance because they have you know teams actually have fans in the stands unlike you know let's say indoor football or MLS they actually have fans in the stands fans will come to games and you know this is going to be a great season you know I can guarantee you that right now but you know it, it's up to us it's up to us to get watching hopefully you know again you know, hopefully they announce that US TV deal I'm hoping you know it's some sort of you know deal with maybe like I don't know I don't know who who, who could actually you know get you know a US TV deal with the National Cross League because I really don't know who could be bidding for you know those rights right now. I really don't know because I mean lacrosse, you know, they've, they've had it's been a, it's been a good couple seasons with NBC, but honestly, you know, the whole Peacock situation having half the PLL games on Peacock is not a good idea. It never has been a good idea. If you want to grow the game. You don't you don't put lacrosse on streaming services. I get it. I get it. It I get it trying to you know trying to get those peacock subscribers up. But I, I don't want streaming, so I, I'm hoping for a linear deal, you know, on actual networks that people have. Because not everybody has Peacock. Never not everybody has, you know, Sling or Fubo or Hulu or Netflix. Not everybody has that yet. We're still in a weird time, you know, right now, where it's like, do we still, you know, put stuff on cable or do we put stuff on streaming? You know, it's still a weird time. But that's all I gotta say. I'm excited again. You know, I'm very hyped up, and you know, I I'm just loving every second of what the NL is doing. I'm loving every second of getting back into lacrosse because I mean, learning about players, learning about things. You know, it's been a tough time for me. I will admit that. You know, sometimes I forget, you know, players when it comes to PLL videos and stuff like that. Um, but yeah, that's all I got to say on the matter. You know, what do you guys think? And uh, again, I'm just excited. I'm really excited. Uh, I've said that so many times, but I mean, I, I really am. I, I, I got, I've got a big goofy smile on my face. So, y'all, you know, come on down to the comments, you know, project who that 16th team will be. Because I really don't know. I really have nothing. I, I really don't know. I don't. I don't scour forums and stuff like that to really find out what that information is. What that could be, you know. I'm thinking it's Western because you know to balance it out. Because I, I, you know, I, I really thought we were gonna go with three divisions again, but I guess not. That didn't work out. You know, some some of my lacrosse buddies in the Discord were like, "Hey, you know, why isn't it three divisions again?" But it is what it is. Um, but yeah, that'll do it. Y'all take care. You know, have a good rest of your week. And, you know, if the NBA Finals ends, you know, on Saturday night, we'll have, you know, a video on Saturday night. You know, if not, there may be something else. There may be something else this week. There may not be. But I'll, I'll, I'll check with y'all when it's time. But see y'all later. And have a good rest of your week for now.